Okay, question 10C. And this one's going to require just a little bit more work because the, the equation is not, not really even close to uh, slope-intercept form. So what I got to do here, first of all, is maybe isolate that y. So what I'll do is I'll move the 4x over. So 3y is less than or equal to negative 4x plus 12. And I want to write it like that with the 4x in front because I want this to be in slope-intercept form. Then I'll divide by 3. And I'm dividing by positive 3. Okay, so that I don't change the direction of the sign. Okay, so that stays y is less than or equal to negative 4 thirds x plus 4. My y-intercept here is 4, so I'll identify that on the graph. And my slope is negative 4 thirds. So that means from here I would go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, puts me right on the x-axis, over 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, and there's there's my line here. Now, this equation here is going to be less than or equal to. Okay, the y is less than or equal to that. Or equal to means I'm going to include the line, which means I got to use a dark line here. Now I'm just going to use a, a ruler to do this. Okay, so there's the line, and it's a dark line. It's a uh, a solid line. I'm not going to make it a dotted line because I'm including it. And again, y is less than. Well, let's just take a look at the y-axis. Okay, look for the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept here is 4. So ignoring this part right here, it's y is less than or equal to 4. Okay, so I put a little circle around the 4. It's equal or equal to, so I include it. And then less than, meaning I'm going to shade below. So on the, on the y-axis, I would be shading below that point. So that means I shade everywhere below that line, and that's what that shading would look like. 